Welcome back, comrades. My name is Tokariva. This is Soviet Union, Hearts of Iron 3. And we are still preparing for World War II. So, Germany has fend off both France and are now work. They've made an amphibious landing in the middle of Norway. Interesting decision making there. We have marine infantry now. Um. Do I want? I don't have any engineers. I might build some with the. Um, they they really combine well with marines. So oh, actually, I do have engineers. Right. Um. Let's select the units. Expand all. I do believe I have engineers in my tank divisions. Or do I not? Um. We actually lack leaders. Yeah, we do have engineers already, so I should upgrade them as well. Why don't you get Rokoshevsky? Why don't you get Rotmistrov? They're also motorized. Right, it's, these, it's the new divisions that we've been building over the past year or so. It seemed to lack leaders. Um, Katkov, sure. Yeah, it's all the new ones. I prefer... Leader skill is very good, of course, but it's slightly preferable to get Battlemaster for that 10% combined arms bonus uh, on everyone in a fight. I mean, the leader gives 11.8, while it's including the leaders up uh, the chain, of course. So it's 10% just straight up from Battlemaster. So if it's a skill 2 with Battlemaster, it's probably at least as good as a skill 4 without. That seems to be everyone again. But yeah, I have engineer units, so I might as well upgrade them as well. Um, that is a garrison, so let's just get a skill one. Zhukov, the far eastern front. Just for the sake of it, I'm going to give them a guy with um, supply consumption reduction, so we get less supply over here in the uh, far east. We still have some forces in the Transbaikal front as well. Same deal, let's give you a level 2 with that. Stalingrad HQ. He does have some units, but... Might as well give them another supply produ uh, production guy. Because that does help with supply, obviously. In the long run, that will be fine. So there we go. Just some rank ones with supply consumption reduction for that. Sweden is no longer aligning. Learn that Tibet has started aligning. Turkey is aligning. Finland have been accepted into the Axis. Probably because we beat them in the war and other stuff happened there. Vichy France is drifting away from the Axis because, of course, of course. The only way to really get them into the faction, into the Axis, would be to... Really, they're still drifting away from us. Closely aligned. Proximity. Oh, they're next to Japan, of course. That's helping them. Actually, China. Switzerland. Turkey. Um, nah, Axis is still the ideological uh, part, though. Okay, covert points. We have 20 again, and we have 20 in Romania, but only 31. Turkey, we have nearly 20 again. Belgium, we. Yeah, we still have spies there, despite the fact that they are kind of dead. But that's fine. Cuba, we're working on a lot. Wow, the communists are doing very well in nationalist China. I completely forgot assault weapons. Let's research this. Done in December. Not bad at all. More efficient laws, non aggression pact status may be broken now. We have enough units on the front line with them. Medium tank advance. Armor. That goes to medium tank reliability. Also done in December.
and Norway is very likely to fall despite the fact that they have the <sighs> Turkey stop the covert ops because we have 20 now we want to get more um, points again more popularity for our party but we kind of need rocket artillery ammunition advance um, also December 10th I'll continue this one for now What's up next? Light tank armor and then nothing for a while. Hmm. It's gonna go to rocket carriage and sights, by the way. There we go. Ireland, we are shocked to inform, really. We're losing spies somewhere. We still have 6.78 though. So that would be rocket carriage and sights instead of light tank armor. Also done in December. The reason why rocket artillery is pretty good is the fact that um, in the beginning they're not as strong as regular artillery, but they overtake that with uh, research pretty fast. I think. I mean, you get plus one soft attack from every artillery ammunition, and you get 0.7 from each barrel and ammunition on regular artillery. So, if you get rocket artillery to the same level as regular artillery research, then rocket artillery is stronger. The assassination of Leon Trotsky. Once the top lieutenant and heir presumptive of Vladimir Ilyich Lenin died today in a Mexico City hospital. He was attacked in his home with an axe by a Spanish national in the employ of the NKVD. He succumbed to his wounds one day later. After a failed power struggle with Joseph Stalin and his allies from control of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, Trotsky spent the early days in exile, living in Turkey, France and Norway before finally settling in Mexico. He remained a constant critic of Stalin and the degenerated worker state of the Soviet Union under his rule. Huh. <coughs> we have a great army. Um, strategic effects. How about General Winter? I think we have to have at least the war of Germany going on. 75, currently only 31 aircraft though. But only 44 battles fought for veteran army. So yeah, Germany will have the veteran army uh, over us as well. Surprise attack will be of course annoying. I will have to at some point mobilize and stay mobilized it's going to be an issue otherwise there are a lot of counter spies in turkey by the way we're nearly back up to um 20 belgian co-op co-op co uh, covert ops points let's check now that the month is over not there yet but Turkey did grow to 41%. Romania is still... Ooh, dropped, actually. Hmm. I'm probably mobilize in November. I mean, we can break the non-aggression pact, but we may break it. They may not. That's the difference. That's how, a, uh, how it works. Germany first has to get its troops over here before they can actually... Where are the Germans? We could go in the offensive. Look, they have barely nothing left over here. There's almost nothing here. That's so very tempting. But, in fairness, I want to stay slightly... I, I want to stay as historical as possible. Once Hearts of Iron 4 rolls around, I will go ahistoric sometimes, definitely. But yeah, Norway refused offer of military access by Sweden. Well, that's kicking the nuts. Um, Belgians should have 20 now, so you can stop. For the time being. What's our production queue like? Oh, right. The radar stations will be done in February. Still working on upgrades, but it's... Oh, good. We have ourselves another strategic uh, guy coming in. 
strategic bomber. There it is. But we already have it's our third one in total. So I'll just add it to the f first wing as well. The Germans are really confident. They have their lines completely open against us. And that's why we can break the aggression pact right now. Because you need more than 200% units on the line to actually break the pact. There, here they come. See, they were already on their way. Not completely unexpected, obviously. So suddenly they filled in. Um, we have really good organization in the party. Just saying. Um, Belgium. You know what? Let's attempt the coup. And it fails. I mean, Belgium, we're not even focusing on the um, on it anymore. They have been taken over anyway. Let's put you in the second motorized core. And, of course, give you a leader. There you go, Obukov. How the hell did we suddenly gain that much I see? I'm not building anything right now. Okay. Um, so, let's look at speed. Rocket artillery is also slightly faster than regular. So, you could actually make some fast, faster running cavalry units with rocket artillery on it. Could be done. Um, of course, we will want self-propelled... Wow, 10 kilometers per hour on those things. So, self-propelled rocket artillery is in combined arms warfare. So, we do need mechanized offensive to get there. Yeah, okay, I do want to get that, because I want self-propelled rocket artillery. That's the one I really want. I mean, superior firepower, mm, not really necessary, but... Yeah, that mechanized offensive will be very, very useful. I stop separation, we're just researching it in advance. We are working on the electronic computing machine, which will be done early next year, because of the speed gain it gets next year 37 percent 29 percent not comfortable with those 42 is really good 45 is even better actually it's china 33 percent you could get china into the comment turn that would be hilarious all right um let's drop the spy priority in the nations that actually have been conquered that would be a good idea already dropped it on the Netherlands. Um, Vichy France, of course, is very important. Um, Sweden, no. Norway, yeah, you're about to be conquered, so... I'm sorry. Couldn't even attempt a coup if we won. Their party position is too strong. Yeah, because we have the party in charge. That's the point. Persia, um, you know what? Let's start the covert ops. Because Persia, wow, the communists in Persia are actually strong. Portugal as well. Romania. Yeah, we looked at that before. Hello, New Zealand. Nearly the strongest party. How's the UK doing nowadays? Biggest party in the country are the communists. Now, the problem with that is that we would still need the bloody uh, coup to actually work before they would stay there. But they would be better relations with us maybe I'm not sure you say we actually are bigger than the Republican Party now here the election is next month so that's not gonna work out Turkey we want a coup hello Switzerland second party six percent now in Saudi Arabia but th that's gonna be really hard to do nationalist Spain we are the biggest so, Nationalist China, we are the biggest. Mexico, definitely. Japan, we're just counter-spying here. Oh, wow. Italy, 26% over 36. Um, Ireland at 46%. Diploma Diplomacy-wise, Ireland still not in charge. Maybe in between episodes, I just, should just load other nations and see when they actually have elections. Only 7% in Greece. Finland, it's very divided. Mm, Canada, no, Bulgaria. 
Canada, 13% now. We're getting somewhere. Costa Rica, 19%. Bulgaria, really good. 33. Brazil now, 27. Bolivia, 39. Australia, biggest party in Australia at the moment. Australia, Liberal and County League. I don't think anywhere has um, PCF. Hang on. Is that what I think? I think that's what it is, right? France? The communists are in charge at the moment. Anyway, we're going to produce some units. So I don't necessarily want rocket artillery. I want self-propelled rocket artillery for my uh, heavy brigades. Oh, right. That's a good point. Let's build some marine divisions. Those are not going to be reserves. I do want a full core of that. This is the basic marine division you can build. Because of the um, bonus from everything. So you have armored, artillery, direct fire and support. You see the colors here and the divisions here. So for each thing you add, say if I added one marine with one artillery, one uh, light armor and one anti-tank, which is a really weird combination, but you get a 15% bonus. And the problem is with light armor, um, where can you see actually what the bonuses are? Terrain. Here's the terrain bonus. So mountains, amphibious attack is minus 20%. We add light armor, amphibious attack is minus 75%. Yeah. And it's the same with here. Okay. But when you get three marines with together with an engineer. That's the motorized AI. I need an engineer. You get a minus 22.5 only. But you get a lot of defense because of the engineer. So they're really good at defending. And they get bonus movement in the jungle for being marines. And the engineer... And less attrition in mountains, but that's because... And Arctic, because they have um, winter clothing. And river attack is only minus 15% instead of the standard really high. So, I'll just build them. If I pick an infantry unit instead. The terrain penalty for a river attack is 60% and the amphibious attack is 70%. So, the marines with the engineer have 15% on the river and... 2.5% on Amphibious attack. So for striking across a river, Marines are by far the best, especially if they get added an Engineer Brigade. If you say 3 Infantry and an Engineer, you get a 45% River attack instead of 60. You also get the 25% Defense bonus. Engineer is really good at defending, basically. Just have an engineer, river defense plus one hundred percent. But yeah, one engineer unit cannot really do anything, so So those are my marine divisions. Um the rest can come later. Then again we will soon have enough here again. Uh we have thirty two aircraft only. Hundred and twenty eight days for this one. Hundred and twenty five, two hundred and sixty three, not bad. Close air support. You know what? Let's build for um, six castles. Oh, I do need to upgrade fighter tech. That's what I have to do before the war. Oh, yeah. Where did my spies go all of a sudden? Oh, right, because we cooed the Belgium. He's no longer attempting to align. We have heavy tank armor. Um, France, let's just not put anything in anymore. Norway in Belgium either. Netherlands is already down in Norway. Those priorities can be cancelled for now. Technology, heavy tank armor. Yeah, I need mechanized offensive. Barely before the war. If the Germans attack... They have been late all along, but if they attack, according to the regular time scheme, they will be attacking in June. It's when they attacked OTL, at least. 
which was delayed for several reasons. <laughs> but yeah, I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. I'll see you guys later.